It has been a few weeks since Belize City recorded its last murder, and today that trend was interrupted when bloodshed erupted right in front of St. Ignatius Primary School on Euphrates Avenue. The brazen killing happened at 1.06 this afternoon, the busiest hour for Euphrates Avenue, when parents are dropping off their young children for classes at the school. In fact, the victim, 29-year-old Marvin Nunes, was doing just that when he was killed execution style. His girlfriend, overcome by grief, said that she had gone to St. Ignatius School to drop off her children and that Nunes accompanied her. One of his close relatives relayed to us that the killer timed his move with unequivocal precision because he struck just as Nunes' girlfriend left his side to deliver her children to the school. She entered the schoolyard and from where he was he could have seen her and she heard um, the shots mm -hmm. and when she turned around because she said my brother made a fall down to the ground and she ran to the gate and found him on the sidewalk. Love News also got the story first hand from two eyewitnesses. First from a parent who saw the killer pull the trigger then from someone who was at work less than a hundred feet away. I made a right outside to the gate. Uh -huh. What you see? I saw when the person um, shoot the person, but I don't really know that one. He was on a bike or something? Yes, ma'am. Sure. So he came from what direction? I don't really see which direction he came from. Where well, you saw him shot in? The yes. Room. I see. I see him. But I don't, I don't know two. I don't, I don't know the person. I don't know nothing. I hit me there the back and I hear two gunshots, that's all. Okay. And when you run out here? When I run out here, I see the man from the ground. That is all. He got shot in his head, I heard? Yes, by temple. The gunman then rode off onto Basra Street, past St. Ignatius Church, just across the other side from where he pulled the trigger. The church at that hour was holding a funeral service. A brief police report issued shortly after the incident states that no one has yet been detained and that the motive appears to be gang-related. But Nunes' family disputes that statement, saying that he relocated from one area to another to avoid trouble. He lived by the Miller Street, in the complex area, not too far from La Croix Boulevard where the shootings were happening, and he decided that he needed to move away from there. I guess... The friends he had because he was friends with um, Keith that was shot behind Complex. He was friends with him and he was executed as well. Marvin Nunes was a father of two little girls ages 6 and 8. Marion Ali reporting for Love News.